Minister Jalalta says she has no power to grant mercy to the death row convicts in the Rajiv assassination. Karnadi says, had Rajiv Gandhi been alive, he would have saved the three from the gallows. Legal Eagles, led by Ramjit Milani and Colin Gonsalves, to argue for the three convicts in the Madras High Court. After Pedari Valam's mother, it's the turn of Murugan's 19-year-old daughter Haritra to make an emotional appeal for her father's life. Amma's ally, the CPI, goes on the offensive, alleges that unanswered questions have been swept under the carpet to hold a statewide fast on September 3rd. Lawyers and students pulled out on the streets to demand mercy for the three convicts. The CBI court in Delhi to pass an order on the framing of charges on September 15th. When will a spate of unsolved murders be cracked in Chennai? A common threat, love affairs, surfaces. Under fire in the land grab offensive, DMK treasurer Stalin fires back, says DMK leaders are being targeted in a bid to tarnish their image before the local body polls. An AIDMK government in power, a DMK mayor at the helm, a fast approaching monsoons and local body polls. How is the corporation gearing up? And government launches a slew of new initiatives for road transport, flyovers and subways to be constructed across the city. A very good evening. You're watching Headlines now with me, Ashmit. Time now to take a look at headlines coming in from across the country. MP summit privilege notices against Om Puri and protest against Kiran Bedi's derogatory remarks against parliamentarians. Om Puri apologises. Former Karnataka Chief Minister Yedurappa appears in the Lokayukta court, appeals for bail. All 12 convicted of former Narendra Modi Minister Harin Pandya's murder acquitted in Gujarat, the court slams the CBI. Water is expected to recede after rain disrupts train traffic in Mumbai. One person killed after a hill caves in Haji Ali. Seven of 137 passengers have minor injuries after a Gulf airplane skids off the runway in Kochi. Well, first up in a case that has evoked sharp sentiments across the spectrum in Tamil Nadu, the case of the three Rajiv Gandhi assassins now on death row. Now the three convicts facing the gallows have moved the Madras High Court hoping to quash uh, the rejection of their mercy pleas by the president. Now, advocate N. Chandra Sekharan represented the three. Murugan, Sandan and uh, Pedari Valan have filed a writ petition. The case is expected to be heard on Tuesday. Now, they are scheduled to be hanged on the 9th of September at the Velour Jail. Now, Pedari Valan, an Indian Tamil, and two Sri Lankan Tamils, Sandan and Murugan, have been behind bars for 20 years. Now, their mercy petitions have been rejected by the president after a 10-year-long wait. Meanwhile, political outfits such as the DMK, the DMDK, the MDMK, PMK and the CPI have urged the centre and the state governments for commuting the death sentence. Also, late last night, reports also emerged of a case of a 19-year-old woman setting herself ablaze while demanding the commuting of death sentence. Today, we have uh, filed a writ petition before the High Court uh, seeking for the stay of execution and... Uh, also for commuting the death sentence. The matter will come up tomorrow for a hearing before Justice Paul Vasanta Kumar. And senior advocates, Mr. Ram Jetmalni, Mohit Choudhury and Colin Gonsalves, those three senior advocates are appearing tomorrow. And we are very much confident of uh, uh, staying the execution immediately. Uh, we have got enormous precedence in such type of cases. And uh, the main point which we are emphasizing is uh, the delay, delay point, the delay, executive delay in considering the mercy petition. And there are innumerable judgments available, Supreme Court judgments, the constitutional bench judgments are there. And we'll rely upon that and we will commute the death sentence and stay the execution. Now, the daughter of Nalini and Murugan Haritra has appealed for commuting death sentence of her father. In this audio message posted on a pro-Tamil group website and addressed uh, to the Congress uh, President Sonia Gandhi, Haritra seeks mercy for her father. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, uh, moving ahead now, lobbyists and activists campaigning against the death penalty for the three convicts in the Rajiv Gandhi assassination case are not buying Chief Minister Jalalata's stand that she does not have the power to intervene. Now, speaking in the Assembly, she said that only the President of India can help. Even as the cry for commuting the death penalty of three convicts in the Rajiv Gandhi assassination case is reaching a crescendo, Chief Minister Jailalata made the legal stand crystal clear. The government of India, on an examination of the matter and after taking all relevant constitutional aspects into view, direct in terms of Article 257.1 of the Constitution of India, that in cases of death sentences, where a petition for grant of pardon, etc., has earlier been rejected by the President of India in exercise of his powers under Article 72 of the Constitution of India, it would not be open for the government of a state to seek to exercise similar powers under Article 161 in respect of the same case. However, if there is a change of circumstances, or if any new material is available, the condemned person himself or anyone on his behalf may make a fresh application to the President for reconsideration of the earlier order. Once the President has rejected a mercy petition, all future applications in this behalf should be addressed to and would be dealt with by the President of India. Meanwhile, it's all political speak now. Vijay Kant, the DMDK chief and leader of the opposition, has appealed to the centre to intervene and to commute the death penalty given to the three convicts. DMK chief Karnanadi has once again appealed to both the centre and the state as well. PMK founder Dr. Ramados urged the chief minister to pass a resolution against the death penalty in the assembly. But Congress has welcomed Jai Lalita's stand. <laughs> While there are conflicting reactions to the Chief Minister's statement, given that Jailalata does her homework thoroughly on law, is likely to come out with an explanation in the coming days. In Chennai, with Peer Mohammed, this is Ashmit Kumar for NDTV Hindu. Well, speaking of reactions coming in, uh, while addressing the press on this very issue, the former Chief Minister M. Karnadhi appealed to the centre and the state to commute the death sentence of the three convicts. He said, and I quote, that they have spent 20 years in jail and even late Rajiv Gandhi would have commuted them in a similar situation. Now, those who were commuted to life uh, lead a reformed life is what he had to say. Well, meanwhile, speaking to the media in Vilupuram, the DMK treasurer unleashed on the ruling party and the Chief Minister Taking on Jai Lalata, he backed the call for commuting of death sentences. You are not going to die in the settlement. I am not going to die in the settlement. I am not going to die in the settlement. I am not going to die in the settlement. I am not going to die in the settlement. I am not going to die in the settlement. I am not going to die in the settlement. I am not going to die in the settlement. Well, meanwhile, an ally of the ruling party, AIDMK, the CPI today announced a statewide fasts to back the plea for uh, commuting the death sentence of the three convicts. Now, the party also called upon and uh, its alliance partners to participate in the fasts. The fast will be observed in party headquarters throughout Tamil Nadu. Meanwhile, CPI State Secretary D. Pandian also wrote to the UPA Chief Sonia Gandhi. He alleged that the, that the charges against the three had not been proved comprehensively and also claiming that unanswered questions had been swept under the carpet for a speedy trial. Well, in other associated developments, uh, the issue of the three convicts on death row has uh, proved to be an emotionally charged issue. With voices coming in from a large chunk of the population, demands of commuting the death sentence are fast emerging. Now, this afternoon, lawyers and students came out in large numbers to voice their opinion and to back the call for the take, taking the three convicts off of death row.
அப்பாவி தமிழர்களான சாந்தன் முருகன் மற்றும் பேரறிவாளன் அவர்கள் தூக்கிலிடுவதை சட்ட கல்லூரி மாணவர்கள் சார்பாக நாங்கள் கண்டிக்கின்றோம் இந்த போராட்டங்கள் வலம் பெறும் அந்த தூக்கு தண்டனையை உடனடியாக மத்திய அரசு ரத்து செய்ய வேண்டும் நூத்தி ஐம்பத்தி ரெண்டு நாடுகளில் தூக்கு தண்டனை ரத்து செய்யப்பட்டுள்ளது இந்தியா ஜனநாயக நாடு என்று கருதப்படுகிறது இந்த ஜனநாயக நாட்டிலே தூக்கு தண்டனைகள் இதுவரை ரத்து செய்யப்படவில்லை தமிழகர் என்ற பாகுபாட்டினால் இவர்களை தூக்கிலிடுகிறார்கள் இதனை மத்திய அரசை நாங்கள் கண்டித்துக் கொள்கிறோம் இதனை வலியுறுத்தி பணகள் மேல் மாளிகை முன்னிலையில் சட்ட கல்லூரி மாணவர்கள் ஆர்ப்பாட்டத்தில் ஈடுபட்டன அந்த சட்ட கல்லூரி மாணவர்கள் ஐநூறு பேரையும் ஒட்டுமொத்த கல்லூரி மாணவர்களையும் கைது செய்து காவல்துறையினர் காலையில் இருந்து மாலை வரை இன்னும் விடுவிக்கப்படவில்லை அவர்களை உடனடியாக விடுதலை செய்ய வேண்டும் என்று சட்ட கல்லூரி மாணவர்கள் ஆர்ப்பாட்டத்தின் மூலமாக கேட்டுக்கொள்கிறோம் Well, heading into a short break now, but in developments coming in after insulting the parliamentarians, Om Puri backtracks after the parliamentarians bring the heat. We'll get you more details on this case on the other side.